Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of FCOG Gaming. I am your host, Alex, and you are watching the Factorio 101 Beginner's Guide. Um, yeah, just kind of in response to Factorio being out on Steam, I've noticed a huge uptick in, well, at least for me, in uh, Factorio views, <laughs> I guess, on my Factorio videos, and um, especially my, my old tutorial series. Uh, which is now a year and a half old, uh, so I figured I'd go ahead and maybe do something a little bit more relevant um, to the current version. Uh, so hopefully this will help you guys out. Of course it's turning nighttime uh, while I'm going <laughs> to be starting out here, and I don't have anything researched, but that's fine. Um, in this episode, I'm going to uh, be kind of going through the initial setup that you guys want to do. And uh, hopefully by the end of the episode, we will be creating electricity and it will be self-sustaining. So uh, that should be fun. So when you start out the game, you have a little bit of resources um, and you have a burner miner and a stone furnace. Uh, your first fuel is uh, more than likely going to be wood, but you can also mine a few bits of coal and get that going. Um, and basically to set up your first, um, smelting operation with iron or copper, uh, all you have to do is put down a burner drill and a furnace, and I'm going to be using coal here, but you can use wood as well, and, uh, just kind of plop some fuel in there. Now, just to go over some of the hotkeys here, um, if you... Hold down control and click, it will fill this completely up with whatever resource it needs. Like so. Uh, you can you can also do that trick with control and right click, and that does half of the resources that it needs. I would, that's not right. <laughs> I guess with that, you, you have to uh, actually right click and then put it in and that'll split whatever stack you have. So that, I right clicked on 50 and it turned it into 25. If I do that on the 48, it'll be 24. What I'm thinking of is if you hold coal in your hand here, if you hit right click while holding control, it'll fill up half of um, what you're holding in your hand. Or you can left click and it'll fill up the rest of the way up. So I'm going to go around and kind of fill up the uh, factories that I already have. Kind of pick up some coal there as well. And let's go ahead and fuel up our copper operation that I have set up down here as well. So, using that same hotkey, uh, which is control and clicking, uh, once you have a finished product in anything, uh, this goes for factories, smelters, what have you, even boxes, um, you can kind of do the same thing. So I'm going to uh, control and click on this furnace, and it's going to give me all of the iron plates in there, and it kind of gives you a count of what you already have in your inventory. And uh, on this one, I'm going to right click and it gives you half of what's in there. I'm just going to pick all of that up. So this is the basic uh, smelting operation that you're going to start out with. Um, it works for both iron and copper. Um, iron is uh, one-to-one. -one iron ore gets turned into um, iron plates. Uh, it's also probably a good idea to set up a stone mine, um, just because you're going to be using stone a lot to be building your furnaces and your burner mines. And, uh, eventually your boilers and stuff like that. Um, I also have a coal mine here, <clears throat> and you'll notice this is set up a little bit differently. Uh, you can set it up so that it's a mine going into a box, of course, but this situation actually feeds each other, so you'll never have to refuel this situation here. Uh, you can also do it with a four wide, um, basically a circle, uh, but my coal deposit right here wasn't big enough to do that, so 
and uh, copper is basically the same setup. Now it's important when you're rolling your map, uh, you want a good amount of uh, copper, iron, and coal. Uh, this map is kind of lacking coal. We have a little bit of, of it down here and a little bit up here, but uh, that should be enough to get us a pretty decent start and uh, kind of go from there. Also, this map has a ton of oil just sitting around, uh, which are these little black puddles here. And there's also, in your mini-map, uh, all those purple dots. That's oil as well. And copper, as you can see, is uh, your bronze color. And uh, iron is more of your bluish-gray there. But, yeah. So let's go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to get some more coal in my inventory here and fuel up this stone mine. So obviously, already you can tell that you have to manually uh, fuel all this stuff, which definitely gets tedious. And the whole point of the game is to kind of automate uh, everything that you're doing. So the first thing that you want to automate is electricity, <clears throat> which is definitely one of the stepping stones to... Uh, having a successful factory. So I have already made all the stuff that you need to get uh, basic electricity up and running. Uh, we have an offshore pump here, uh, which is gonna get introduce water into the system. Um, I have piping, which I thought I had normal pipes too, but I'll just, I'll make a couple of them here. And uh, we have a boiler and then finally a steam engine and also electric poles to move the electric energy around. Um, and all of these, well, anything that you build in the game, if you hover over it, it tells you the materials that you need. So, um, like the uh, pipe to ground takes half a second to create. You need 10 pipe and five iron plates. Total, uh, if you're completely starting from scratch, it takes five and a half seconds and 15 iron plates. So. Uh, that's one nice thing about this uh, this game. If you are missing an element, like in this case, the pipe, um, let's say I didn't have any pipe in my inventory and I wanted to build this, it would automatically build those pipes. So you don't have to go through and build 10 pipes before you build your underground pipe. Pipes. Said that enough in that paragraph. But, uh, but yeah. So... Uh, what you need for electricity is fuel and a water source. Now, fuel is going to come from this coal deposit up here. And luckily, we're right next to a water source. It doesn't have to be a big water source because it doesn't deplete it at all. Uh, so I'm going to plop down this uh, water pump right here. And we're going to pipe the water out a little bit using our underground pipe uh, just to kind of keep things a little bit cleaner. Uh, if you have above ground pipe, it will work, but you won't be able to walk through it like this. Now, ideally, just with how much water the water pump creates and how much heat the boilers create and all that, the most efficient setup that you can have for boilers is one underground pipe going to 14 boilers which will eventually feed 10 steam engines. Now, I only have two steam engines, but uh, for right now, that's gonna be plenty of electricity, and we can always expand it later. And really, you can expand your boilers later too, but that's a little bit, the way that I'm gonna set this up, that's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So I'm gonna do this in basically two rows. So I'm gonna have a pipe here, and I'm going to have another underground pipe going like so, and then another pipe here. And you'll see why I spaced that here in a second. And I'm going to have seven boilers on each side. Oops. Didn't want to put that there. We'll replace that pipe that I've picked up. And then... I'm going to put my steam engines on either side. And we will actually hook that into 
our first little bit of electric network. Isn't that nifty? And actually in this setup, or when I was uh, preparing off camera, I forgot to get some inserters going. So let's go ahead and get, uh, well, 14, because that's exactly the amount that we need. And as you can see, I didn't have electric circuits, which are the green things, copper wire or uh, iron gear wheels, but it automatically makes those for me. So all I have to do is say, hey, I want to make these inserts, and it automatically makes the ingredients for it. Um, now, when you're in your crafting menu, left-clicking creates one of them, one of whatever unit you want, and right-clicking creates five, or however many you can make. So with that, I could have made 14. I had the materials to make 14, which is what the little number down here is. So I right-clicked three times, and that did a gr group of five, another group of five, and then it finished off with a group of four. Hopefully I'm not being too boring with the uh, interest intricacies here, but uh, it is kind of important to keep in mind, I guess. So what I just put down is an electric miner, which does the same exact thing as a burner miner, except it runs off of the electricity. Weird. Um, and it, it actually produces quite a bit more uh, resources than the burner miner. It also covers a bigger area. The uh, burner miner covers a two by two area. The electric miner actually covers a four by four area. And if you hover over any mine that you have uh, down in the lower part of the side panel, it tells you exactly how many resources it's expected to mine over the course of its life. And in this case, it's 13,000, which is plenty especially starting out for us. We're going to run um, a conveyor belt all the way over here. We're going to turn it down. And we're going to have it go through the center of this whole setup here. We're going to put inserters on either side. Uh, going from the belt to the boilers. And uh, with that, if you push R, it rotates what you're doing. Uh, same with the belt, same with anything. And with the inserters, uh, you can actually... The uh, bar is where it's picking up from, and the arrow is where it's going to. Um, and that only shows, I believe... No, that shows any, either way. Um, but yeah, when you're placing it. So it's important to keep things going the same way that uh, you want them to go, I guess. And so we are going to run electric wire all the way up here. So that's our system. Now, why isn't it working? Well, you have to kickstart it, kind of. Um, so in one of these boilers, I'm going to drop just one thing of raw wood, which only produces four megajoules. But that should be enough to produce some coal. And then it's going to start feeding itself. So as you can see, the animation here goes. It's starting to make stuff. This is starting to go. And it's starting to produce coal as you can see. So this coal is going to make its way around here, slowly but surely. And see, we're actually already out of uh, hot water here, but it's slowly making its way. Well, maybe Maybe I need just a touch more electricity. I was thinking one piece of wood was going to be enough, but we'll put another thing of coal in here. And soon enough, there we go. This is going to start filling back up, and these boilers are going to start heating the water for the steam engine. At least that's what the uh, logic is behind it. And you can add on to these steam engines as well, which I plan on doing in the future. 
but uh, but yeah. So eventually, this coal coal mine is going to fill up this line. It's going to fill up these boilers with coal, and that's going to produce all of our electricity for our entire base, at least starting off. And so, with that, eventually we're going to run a line of electricity down here. We're going to get electric miners on our iron production, on our copper production, and we are going to start automating different parts uh, to make so that we can do research, which is pretty awesome. So I'm going to pick up uh, some of these resources, keep them going. Uh, same with the copper down here. And that is it for episode one, I believe. So, we'll kind of watch this fill up. And again, I apologize for the day and night cycle. I usually put down a ton of lights, but I, I don't have the research in the game to do lights yet. So, but as you can see, these are starting to fill up with coal, which is awesome. So, like I said, I'm going to put a cut in this video when I come back. Uh, we are going to tackle red science box, which is pretty much um, your first step into doing research and getting cooler technologies and all that stuff. And that's also going to involve uh, smelting iron and copper. So exciting stuff. Uh, so as always, if you you know if you like this video, hit hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more of this series or other series that I'm doing, uh, please feel free to subscribe. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions whatsoever regarding Factorio, um, I've been playing this game for quite a while. Um, I forget what alpha it was when I actually purchased it, but uh, it was fairly early in the development. So uh, so I, I know this game pretty well. <clears throat> so. Um, but yeah, as always, thanks so much for watching, and uh, remember to take care of yourselves out there.